I had a low drought. I'm here with uh, Brian Kimmerer and Joe Letta with the Reading Art Association. And those of you who have been watching may know, recognize Joe. He was just on a minute ago with Arts Reading, and he's here still with the uh, Reading Art Association. So, so welcome, gentlemen. It's good to see you here today. So I guess the first question, as it would be, is what exactly is the Reading Art Association? The Reading Art Association is a group of individuals, of artists in the community, all different sorts of artists in the community of Reading and mm -hmm. associated areas, uh, community areas, where uh, established in about, I think, 1964. Uh, it's been in for a while. Okay. And it started out with uh, our founders, who some of us are still with us <laughs> and uh, doing well, I might add, and uh, very well known names in Reading and around. Sure. And um, what we do is every year annually we have two exhibitions that okay. people can get into we also have demonstrations by professional artists coming in mm -hmm. and we're at the first congregational church here in reading on, okay um on Sam what's the name sanborn street right in sanborn sanborn, sanborn, sanborn and Woburn, yeah sanborn yeah and um we invite all of the artists to naturally join with us because uh, we are a uh, it's a good cultural group like we were sure. discussing earlier but that um there's some in, m tremendous amount of great talent in the areas. And then there's also a lot of beginners that are just learning that can benefit by hanging around okay. with a lot of other artists. So, so when you're talking about art or artists, so you're talking specifically about a particular type of art, or do you kind of span all of the genres, and et cetera? Very good, very good uh, question. Uh, our span is like with about, about a lot of visual artists, any okay. type of visual artists, pretty much. Uh, photographers, All right. uh, people who use mixed media, oil painters, watercolorists. Um, oh, there's a whole bunch of other th mixed things in the middle of that. Pottery? Is that pot pot pottery? Is it? Mm, I'm not sure if you consider we haven't pottery. haven't seen a lot of pottery. No. Okay. okay. Um, not necessarily crafts, but there are some crafts that take artists to sure. do. Sure, oh, absolutely. Yeah. And uh, they like to come in, too, and mm -hmm. see how that okay. is. It is a professional organization okay. of professionals, but again, even the beginners that are working with us can sure. benefit a lot. Sure. So, so when you talk about having exhibitions, uh, explain for me a little bit about what that is, what you mean by that. We have, uh, we have a spring exhibition and also one in November where we uh, it's on for three days, like on a Friday night, where we have our judging, mm -hmm. all day Saturday, and it's over a weekend. And Sunday, where we have the customers pick, uh, the other artists pick up their artwork when they leave. But um, when artists put uh, come in, they put prices on their paintings if they want to sell them or not. Sure. It's a book, a pamphlet that uh, yeah. goes out to everybody, and people can judge on their own with a People's Choice Awards. Right. They're awarded ribbons and mm -hmm. uh, sometimes monetary uh, values on some things. And we also have a mini art exhibition there and a lot of okay. different type things people can enjoy. All right. Now, now are people able to purchase the art at those yes. exhibitions as well? Yes, Excellent. yes, they can. Excellent. So, so Brian, uh, what benefit does an artist get from being a participant in the Art Association? Well, you get to associate with other artists and um, you get to show your work in our, in our sure. exhibits. Um, we we try to keep active in uh, in the community, uh, mm -hmm. and it is a support. You know, sure. Uh, everything that we do is uh, free and open to the public, mm -hmm. so it's uh, it's a support organization for the sure, arts. Sure, sure. And do uh, the different artists critique the, the work of the others and kind of give pointers or help out or ideas or suggestions? Yes. Uh, one thing, uh, another thing we do is we put on demonstrations during the year. Mm -hmm. Between September and May, we okay. have a monthly demonstration where okay. an artist comes in and shows us how they work sure. and, and what they do. We've had some interesting demonstrations. Last year, we had a demonstration of uh, encaustic painting, okay. which is uh, the medium is hot wax. Mm. Interesting. Not oil or water. Interesting. Hot That's wax. different. That's different. 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 Yeah. different uh, a few years ago, we had a fellow come in and demonstrate uh, a Japanese art fish painting. I can't remember the mm -hmm. Japanese word for it. Remember that? And uh, he basically, you take a, a fish, a real fish, and you put ink on it. <laughs> okay. And then you put a piece of wet paper on it, and you peel it off. And, and you have a fish, fish painting. Yeah, it's a, it's a genu Interesting. genuine. Interesting. It sounds like an ancient art, actually. It, it is. Yeah. It is. So actually, the other one, the uh, encaustic painting, is a medieval type art. It's one of the first okay. paintings that everybody started doing. You can tell we also have a lot of fun at our okay. events, and we are, that's another reason why we like to invite people in, because sure. we have a great organization that... Uh, we just like to get out to the crowd, get the culture of art out mm -hmm. into the into mm -hmm. the uh, communities and, and 
something that everybody would like. And right. We'd like to have fun doing it. So do you have any events coming up in the near future that you'd like to share with us about? Um, yeah, we're, the season's pretty much over yeah. right now. It's right in, now. In the fall. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, this this season is uh, starting back up in September, okay. where we have our demonstrations coming. We usually sure. take a little bit of relaxing over the summer, although we're not closed. Right. Uh, we don't have any demonstrations that go on during the summer. We do have a business meeting in, uh, I think, the early June okay. that uh, we get together for a dinner meeting. We invite all of our members who are interested mm -hmm. in joining mm -hmm. with us. It's kind of an informal dinner meeting and uh, right. business meeting. Great. Great. So, so if a uh, person were interested in joining or at least getting to know a little bit more about what you do, where could they find out about you? We have a web page. Okay. I am the webmaster. Okay. I'm master well, you of the know, web. So should know the address then. Yeah, 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 yes. <laughs> it's uh, www.readingart.org. Okay. And uh, if you email webmaster at readingart.org, that's me. Okay. I will answer. I try to answer all of them. Um, and on the website, I post. Um, upcoming events, the mm -hmm. schedules, and that usual thing. I also photograph all the demos. Oh, okay, good. And good. I post photographs of each demo. I've been doing this for 15 years, mm -hmm. um, and the shows. So if you want to get a glimpse of what we are, sure. and what it looks like, and how it goes, you can go out there and there's a whole history of Yeah, and it sounds like a tremendous resource if there. someone was interested yeah. to go and take a look at the types of things that have happened yes. and they can see what's if going on. I remember I messed up Writing, writing Out Association earlier. If, if he can, can say it one more time, time the web page? www.writingart.org. Okay, terrific. So uh, you can check that website out and find out more about the Writing Art Association. Thank you for joining us here today on Organization Night on RCTV. We are